Hi everyone. Uh, this class is uh, the third class of pre-morning operation. We will learn design instantial and blending. Okay, let's go to design. Uh, design is is used for in in very special case. For example, if the canvas has the limitation of bit depth, then we can turn on the dithering, then the, the, the rendering quality and visible quality is slightly better than, uh, than the disabled dithering. Dithering is very uh, widely used in printing. For example, for example, in in laser printer, la laser printer does not have the gray color. So laser print printer has only toner. Its, its color is black and the white. That is paper. But sometimes we need to draw this this kind of a, uh, this kind of uh, the picture. Then the uh, laser printer subdivide the area and then if it is for example if it is this area is 70 75 percent of the gray then turn on the black one two three four five six seven and then turn of three or four pixel then you can get the, this kind of very similar result it looks very strange and the quality is poor but in case we we are watching it in some in some distance, then it looks like the the, the, the grayscale image. So, dithering is quite widely used in printing. Normally, in in WebGL or OpenGL, yes, color depth is eight bit each for RGBA, but sometimes the the Nowadays it is very hard to find out, but sometimes there is there there's some some device that has some kind of a bit depth is smaller than a for example four 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 four. In that case, we need dithering to get much more good quality. Okay, so so it dithering is optional in WebGL and OpenGL. Yes, so. Some GPU can support it, some GPU cannot support it. Okay, so, so, I cannot recommend that use dithering. So, it is very hard to test it. It is, it is because the, the supporting hardware is, is very rare that, so, it is not possible to test it, the, the, that dithering. Anyway, if, if a GPU support dithering, then we can enable it with the dither and disable it by disable by dither, okay? With the option of dither. I will show you some example of dithering with other tool. I use Adobe Photoshop to show you dithering. In image, in mode, there is the, the index color option in Adobe Photoshop is it is changing to to RGBA or CMY color into in indexed color so I'm sorry but my Adobe interface is in, written in Korean but it is color level so I will change it into full level without without the no dithering and then Okay. with original color then it will be changed like this okay I will zoom it then if I turn on turn on dithering then they make uh, make some pixels with area then it, it, it looks like it's printed in newspaper or some other, uh, other things so I will change it to level 16 then we can use more colors so if color is limited for, for example 4 then oh then the minimum number is 9 okay 
nine I will use. And then there is also some kind of a pattern dithering or noise dithering and the diffusion dithering. Some there, there is a, some kind of a good thing and bad things. Okay, I change it. But if we zoom, zoomed in the portrait, it, it looks very strange. But if we zoom out, then we can get quite good uh, result of rendering compared with the without dithering. Okay. Okay. Next uh, operation is a stencil. Okay. Stencil is the control of pixel to draw or not by pixel by pixel. So we can control uh, the area. We, uh, we already learned the scissoring. We can we can define a scissoring leg. Then, then inside the scissoring leg, the drawing is occurred. For example, I draw the triangle. Then, then only part of triangle is, will be displayed. Okay, but it it the shape of control is only for rectangle, but in case of stencil, we can control pixel by pixel. For example, if we define stencil buffer like this, and then the, we draw this thing, it works like this. Okay, so we can we can apply it in black area, or we can apply it in this outside area. That is, we we can choose it. Okay. It, it is you know, the pixel by pixel we can define it to so which one is drawing, which one is not drawing. Okay, so first to do to, to do that we need stencil buffer. Okay, stencil buffer is needed. Okay, uh, the minimal requirement of OpenGL is two point zero and WebGL one point zero is eight bit. So. Some GPU will have 8-bit uh, stencil buffer. Each pixel has 8-bit depth for each pixel. And maybe some system can be have 16-bit more than 8. So it is possible. Okay. So we need a buffer. And then uh, we, need, we need to, 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 to clear or reset buffer before drawing. And then we need to enable or disable the stencil test. Then enable stencil test. Then stencil test turning on. Okay. Then how it works? Does we need to define it? So stencil operation, stencil operation, and stencil function. Okay. Stencil function is very is a very similar to depth function. So there is never less less than equal to less than equal, greater, greater and equal, not equal, always. Default is always. So, so if we write with uh, the, the with reference value, reference is value. So so we, we set, if, for example, if we set reference is one, then the, the value one will be operated in all always if the, the stencil function is always then the, the input reference will be write it to write it to to, to stencil buffer. Only in the condition of this function and jet function. Okay? Jet function. For example for example in jet buffer Okay. And we need to define, okay, I was explaining stencil operation. Is first thing is as fail is if stencil test is failed, it means that stencil testing is defined by here. So for example, in it is defined as less than if the if the the reference value is bigger than bigger than existing stencil buffer then it will fail then in in that case normally in that case it will be kept the, the, the original stencil buffer is not changed and and 
Jet pail is dabs testing. Dabs testing. So if dabs testing failed, then maybe we, we must do something. Do something is keep zero or it's zero means that the the they remove the they set the left the, the station buffer value with zero increment is increment with this reference value and then decrement is decrement with this reference value increment with rab is for example for example if the the, the station buffer is eight bit then value will be zero from zero to two hundred fifty five Rep means that if if we increment with ten, but it became two hundred sixty five, then it will go to nine in here. Okay, so if it over, then it goes to here. Okay, so that is increment rep. De decrement oh sorry, decrement rep is very similar to increment rep. Decrement but rep around from zero. Okay. And then invert is invert. Okay. <coughs> invert is is for example in, in case of a uh, B is eight and two hundred five five fifty five with value. Okay. So that is invert. Okay. okay. So I will uh, explain what what happened it in in operation. If a uh, station buffer cleared, and then uh, the, we throw something in, we throw triangle in here with value with one. The outside is zero. It is station buffer. If we can assume that station buffer looks like this, and then depth of buffer is okay. Depth of buffer is there is triangle, and outside is one point zero. And middle of the is zero point five. Then, then we are trying to draw a circle, circle with different color. I will use it. And then, first, the first stencil operation is the stencil check. Okay, we are drawing circle in here, drawing circle in here. In case of in this pixel, the if reference value is, for example in two and the, the checking operation is less less than the if the reference the first the lepers will will be the condition by condition the so lepers value is two is bigger than that the, the stage buffer value so it does not work is it going to fa fail then, then the, 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 the S fail operation will run. Normally, the S fail operation is keep, so it will change the, the stencil value. Okay. And then we don't have to. And then the, the jet value of this circle is 0 0.6, for example. And depth operation is less. Then it means that the circle is behind the triangle. So in that case, it failed, and then jet pail will work. Jet pail, if normally jet pail will set to keep, so it will ch not change the the the. It will not change it in here. It will not change it in uh, the station buffer. Will not change it. Okay, and because of that, the drawing is not occurred in here. And stencil buffer is not changed. In case of this point, then stencil buffer is working. We, we need to change it, the condition with the, the greater, greater. Okay. So in case of greater, then it that is okay. It is reference two is bigger than zero. Then this this area will be drawn. Okay, will be drawn. And then it will change it into two. It is because and jet is not paled, and then 
the sensor is not failed, so we will, on, in case that pay, pass that case, then we, some, normally we will operate, set operator with replace, then the, the, the value will be replaced with two. If we set that the so increment, then it will be incremented two. Then if we accumulate some operation, it will be changed. Okay. In that case, G buffer will be updated to 0 0.6 in here. Then and then some drawing will be occurred. Color buffer will be changed with the yellow circle. Okay. That is the, the normal operation of station. Okay. But it looks very complex, but but sometimes it is quite easy if you, you um, practice it. The, the, it, co it is co kind of code that uh, just playing, uh, updating something. So you can understand that. So that they enable the geostasia. Okay. And then in that case, in that case I think they created the, the, the stage buffer with zero, all created with zero. The reference value is one, and then mask is zero x zero x ff. So mask is so normally the default value of mask is zero x one uh, ff. In case of eight bit, for example, sixteen bit, it, it should be ff. So the mask is works like mask. So if it, I I just want to change the, the small part of a bit, then I want to change the low low end part. Then zero F can be used for for masking. So it means that zero 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 one 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 in binary. So I will use uh, the, the lower four bit of the extension. Then I will set with mask. Okay. So normally in general it is so zero X F F like this, and then extension operation keep. Okay. In case of a stencil test fail, fail, and then the, in success, the replace. Okay, they will replace it. And then they draw it with some kind of a triangle. Okay, then triangle, with the drawing triangle, they will set some, some stencil buffer with value with one. Okay, one. The outside of triangle will be remain as zero. Then, the extension function, okay, they change the extension function to zero, zero, reference value is zero, and then zero FF, okay. Reference value is FF, zero and mask is FF. And then, extension operation is keep and keep and keep. Keep and keep and keep means that they will not change the extension, so, but the value is zero, so the operation is equal, equal. So, so in that case, only, only the G, in case of zero, the the stencil test will be passed. So if we draw something, then, then, then I think it will it will draw it will draw only only in outside of a triangle. It is because. They test with outside, so out in, it is because because the zero equals they tested it. If it is t the condition of true is outside of triangle, then if they tr draw triangle with different position, then then uh, triangle will be displayed in here, okay, and not this area. Let's test with our code. Okay, I will change uh, back to original drawings. So I will turn off uh, the polygon offset pillar. Then poly I will remove a polygon offset. And I will move some distance. 8, 8, 8. And then I will change also disable disable offset pill and then I will change the depth test okay right and then I will check it reload it oh yeah then animation 
and then change it to rotation angle more quickly so so I will change it two times faster okay okay then the the the, the second cube is uh, rotating much faster than the the first triangle our uh, first box okay and then let's turn on the stencil okay okay first thing is we need to we need to create stencil buffer first so the, we, we need to set we need to set the stencil gl dot gl dot create stencil value will set zero it, it should be integer okay and then we will enable gl dot stencil test okay then we will set in a uh, in just to be put the people the drawing first box then I will draw I will set the, the I will set the, the, the function with GL this function with okay GL dot always always a set with value one masking is zero x f and then and then the gl stencil operation is stencil operation is the gl dot keep gl dot keep gl dot replace Okay. Then they will draw. They will replace it in case of uh, in case of drawing box. Drawing box value. The the station value will be changed into one. Okay. Then in case of drawing second uh second uh, thing, then I will change the station operation with. Okay. Compare with GL uh, reference value will be okay. I will check with equal with zero in only for drawing only the zero area. Then and the they will uh, change stencil value. Okay. Then it it will be drawn only for outside of first box okay i expected that result okay. then okay we load it okay rotation the problem is it is very hard to checking the the, the which one is different or also which one is not different or something so i will change it into into Okay, I will change it into reference value is one. It means that draw only inside of first box, I think. Then reload it. Animation. I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I I I I made mistake. In here, she clear. So we did not clear the, the, the stencil purpose. So we need to create GL stencil purple bit. Need to create. Okay. Then I will write it and then reload it. Oh yeah, reload it. Then it changed. It is displayed only in, inside of this drawing okay for example yeah it looks like uh, yeah so substantial so buffer is set to here okay then means that okay 
it is only displayed in here. If I want to display it at the, in other area, outside the area, we can. It is very useful because we have eight stencil bit buffer, for example. Then we can use eight different stencil buffer with masking. Then you can achieve the different layer. We can we can make some different the combination of. Uh, let's think about that. If this this area is the window of something, then we can set mask with this window. Then we can display only in some part to look through the, this window. That kind of control is possible with with stencil. Okay. Okay. Next topic is branding. So branding is the mix with existing drawing result with new drawing. For example, in our code in render scene, render scene, render scene, okay, scene, in first step we clear the purple, so the canvas will be cleared, and then we draw small cube, and then we draw something as. So if we draw something in here, draw, and then there is another draw, and then there will be many drawings. And then the, it will be displayed with some HTML control or canvas control. It will be displayed into display device. Then, okay, in, in first drawing, there is nothing in canvas, but in second, in second and after second drawing, there is something exists in the canvas. For example, okay, let's see the, this example. If I want to draw this, this uh, rectangle, but in frame buffer, there is already, already, the, this circle is already existing drawn in frame buffer. Then how can we mix it? We need to decide it how to mix it. We need to decide that the polish of new drawing and old drawing, how to mix it. Okay, so let's first you should know the, the terminology. First thing, the existing existing already drawn picture we call it destination. Okay, destination. New drawing is called source. Okay, new source is new drawing, and and destination is old drawing already exist. Okay, and then we will mix it. Okay, for example, in case of uh, we can set with clear. Okay, the, even though source is the rectangle, I want to clear it the, or. I will change it into source. I will I will keep destination, if even though what is what is the source, and then I will draw source over the destination. Then source will be top of. Okay, source will be overlaid on the on the destination. Destination over source, over source. Then it means so draw under the destination source will be drawn. Okay, how can it possible? It is possible. It is because that outside of this drawing has another channel. We say that in in. In painting, we, we, we think that the buffer is, yeah, buffer is, color buffer is, oh yeah, it is color buffer. So they, they have R, G, B, red, green, blue channels. But think about it. There is another channel, alpha, alpha channel there is. So alpha is used for, used for opacity. Okay. Opacity. Opacity is the opposite of word of transparency. The opposite word transparency. Okay. Why we call it opposite 
the opacity, not transparency. It is because alpha is 1.0. It means that fully opaque, not tra zero translate. G sorry, zero translate, trans zero transparent. Okay, transparent. Okay, and 0, 0.0 means perfectly transparent, not opaque at all. Okay, so we call it is it is opacity. So outside of this square is alpha equal zero. It means that fully transparent. There's nothing. Also, destination also have outside of circle alpha equal zero. Then it is. It means that outside of circle is fully empty. And maybe it said that it, this example said it is opaque. Opaque means that. Opacity is 1.0. So inside of rectangle and inside of circle, that the opacity value is 1.0. Then it is possible to we can decide which one is the outside, which one is inside of of shape or drawing. So we can use this alpha value to to decide the outside of circle. Then Destination of a work like this. So, source in is source in is we can draw only inside inside of destination inside of destination, but we only drawing source only. So result will be like this. Destination in is in only inside of source source maybe in here, only inside of of. Uh, source then I will display destination only okay source out is only outside of destination I will display source only outside of source I will display this destination source at top is uh, on the top of destination I will display with source so this area will be removed and then opposite is possible and also it is possible the exclusive or exclusive or is so the exclusive or area outside area how display source that is possible in case of uh, the, the alpha channel is 0 or 1 0 or 1 it is in it, it is very straightforward but in that case of partially transparent it means that source source and destination has alpha value with 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 then it is slightly different source of is it, it, it because it is partially partially transparent the result is somewhat different so the the source source destination will be displayed and source will be displayed and the, they have transparency so this area will be will have transparency to we can look look through the some things so even though it is the the, the source is at top of a destination but you can see the the destination so so sometimes we need to decide that this area so we, we we can set to 0 0.75 or 0 0.1.0 or 0 0.5 but this area will be result of image will be alpha value will be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and normally the the, the the mixed area changed into 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and the destination always very similar to source over, and the source in, destination in, source out, destination out, source at top, destination at top, exclusive all look like this, so. In case of a partially transparent, how can you implement it in WebGL? In WebGL, we can we can use uh, enabling blending with enable gel blend. Default is disabled. Okay, we need to set blend function. There is two blend function: the blend function and blend func separate. In case of separate, we can set the different function for RGB and alpha channel. I said that in 
in color purple that there is a four channel RGB and alpha channel. So if we want the same operation with RGB and A, then we will use this function. Then you, if we want to use separate function, then we will use blend function separate. The, the factor, S factor, there is two factor. The function, we need to define two function, S factor and destination factor. In case of function separate, we need to, uh, to set four different, maybe four uh, factors. And then the brand color is the, we can, we can, we can set constant color. In, in case of the branding operation, use the constant color, then we will set brand color. Normally, we will use a drawing result. Okay. For example, if I draw, for example, like example, destination is circle, source is blue, then blue and the, the yellow will be used for that. But in some special, special, the branding function, we can set the diff the, the, the constant color okay and we need to to set brand equation so okay brand equation in can be add or subtract or reverse subtract so so it, it th there is a three kind of operations so if source and destination there is addition and subtract and reverse subtract this destination minus source. Okay, the output is source factor multiply source color mode. The mode is in here. The the, op, the equation equation in here, and then destination factor and destination color. Destination factor multiply destination color. Okay. The, we need to the, normally the the, the 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 equation is addition. And the, we should know that how to set the, the, the S factor and D factor. The branded factor, there are the one, two, three, four, yeah, more than 10 the branding factors. Okay, zero is set to zero. Okay, so factor is zero. So if we use GL zero, then the source color will, or destination color, if we use factor as zero then it will be cleared and then j1 is the we don't change anything so what we will use one then source color will be maintained if we use then one then destination color will maintain it if we we use the equation with plus then source color and destination color will be added okay and then in case of source color Think about it. it is coefficient. It is a factor. So if we use it source factor as a source color, then then the result will be R multiply R G multiply R G square B square. Then the value of RGB is from zero to one. It will be reduced, and then you can add it. So it it is kind of a mul some self multiply. And reversed, it is possible, and we can use source alpha. Okay, alpha of source. Okay. I mean, if there is a, a source, source color has uh, R G B A source color, then we will multiply it alpha as to R G B. Then we can use that. If the source color has some kind of partial transparency, then we can use that value to the mixture of color. It is a very normally used thing. Okay, and one minus source alpha is used for this one. Okay, one min okay. For example, very widely used the the, the blending is the we set as a vector is a source alpha, and then destination factor is one minus source alpha. Then if source color is has transparency of 0 0.2, then source 20 percent of source color and 80 percent of destination color will be mixed together. It's quite reasonable. Then we call it a source over blending, this blending, okay, this blending. 
Okay, so and also destination color, destination yeah, in one minus destination and destination alpha. Destination alpha can be used for yeah mix of destination and one one minus destination alpha and we can use the constant color constant 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 alpha constant alpha constant. It means that we can set the constant color and constant alpha with with this blend color with blend color then it can be used for source color and destination color that we will not use it for blending we will use a special color okay so it is possible okay then the gl source alpha saturated means that we will set minimum value of source alpha or one minus the, the destination alpha then okay to test the, uh the blending so i will remove the extension operation first okay okay then uh, we need to to substantial testing off and then we will turn on gl that enable let's see the, the result of this changing okay we'll load it uh oh failed what is it invalidated gl not blending blend okay write it and load it okay it looks very same so branding is the, okay it looks very quite good so we cannot see the the the, the precise result of the blending with the, the opaque object okay then i will change the the, sh the color with transparent okay i will ch change the color with it, it looks like change the color but it does not look transparent i will turn what is it what is it what is it? We enabled the blending, but we need to set more blending operations. So we need to change it to, I will change that. Okay, blending, and then gl dot, the blend function, function, okay. Separate, I will do it separately, separate. So with bring bring function with gl dot so we will use source alpha okay source alpha and one minus source alpha one minus source alpha and then in case of uh, the, the alpha channel I will use gl.1 and gl.1 minus source alpha I will use it okay then let's look at the result okay then we'll load it Oh yeah, it looks very yeah, it looks very quite transparent. Okay. But something wrong I think. Something some face is not displayed and some problems. Okay. It is because we need to turn up depth test. It is because 
This is transparent. So, for example, if there is transparent scale, but in in case of the, the, the wallet in here, then we need to draw wallet with depth testing. But in case of in here, with depth testing, the wallet will not dis display it because of depth testing. But in case of transparent, we, we don't have to do that. We, we, we do not have to do that. Okay, so, so we need to disable, we need to disable depth test. Okay, I will disable it. Oh, it's much better. It's much better to, it looks very transparent. How about the calling? If, if we enable calling, what can, what kind of problem will be occurred? Right. And then, if we turn on calling, then it looks very strange. It is because we cannot see backside shape. So, depth testing, calling, and transparent blending should be used carefully. In case of drawing transparent object, we need to, in general, do we need to the turn off, turn off uh, the, the depth testing, and we need to turn off curling. So I will turn off calling okay then you can get this result yeah okay so you can test with the various combination of uh, the blending function so slide part minus slide part so it is very hard to understand but in google you can search that at the, the, the brand function uh, demonstration site so you can make combination then you can you can see the, the immediately you can see the result of uh, blending of various kind of blending operations okay but at least you you should memorize this thing the gl social part and gl1 minus social part gl1 and gl1 minus social part it is very widely used branding that is that is source over destination blending. Yes, we learned the fragment operation. So in our computer graphics pipeline, per fragment operation in here, maybe some some operations so will be occurred in other area, for example in here. For example, in case of calling, maybe calling can be done in here after primitive assembly. So so the, we cannot say the calling is pop fragment operation, but so I will explain it, it in this chapter. Pop fragment operation is after the fragment shader. The, okay, let's go to fragment shader. Fragment shader generate the 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 color of each pixel. So with input, they use input as some some from the vertex shader. And then they use uniform to the commonly they use uniform input and then they will use texture and they generate they generate the the gl fragment color it means that the pixel color of at each pixel's color will be decided with gl fragment color and then they has another information is gl front facing the front facing can be used for decide which is back pace, which is front pace. And then they also generate a GL point code, fragment code, and point code. Point coordinate is the coordinate of point, and then fragment coordinate is the read only, the fragment screen coordinate. And then, and then it send to per fragment operation. The, the first thing is the pixel ownership test. And I said that if window is overlapped on the on the, the GL application, then we need to check the uh, the pixel ownership test. So pixel ownership test is related to operating system and windowing systems. So you don't have to do anything to for pixel ownership test and then scissoring test and then stencil test, depth test 
and blending and dithering. Dithering is not used in common is not commonly used. So blending, then it will be stored in the crane buffer. So in so in each step, so so after all testing is done, the it 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 is not stored to the crane buffer. For example, if in in case of stencil buffer, it will be updated by stencil test. Or in case of depth test, the G buffer will be updated in depth test. Then there is an, another thing to we can enable or disable. That is multi sampling. Multi sampling is very widely used scheme for the, the anti aliasing. Okay, so I will explain in next class. Next class will be about anti-aliasing and the multi-sampling. So it should be supported by GPU and also it is supported by the OS and sometimes we need, we, we are learning the WebGL so the web browser should support it. So I uh, explain in, in lecture 10, okay? If you want to know that uh, the, the context status then we can get a get parameter api so there are so many parameters so for example seizure then they will return a seizure box and seizure test if we query that get parameter with the seizure test then they will return enable or disable or if we call that get parameter with the seizure box then the box the start x start y and width and height will be returned by get parameter function so there are so many things to control it that is that is the that is we can call it an idea state so maybe we can call it context okay so we can control the graphics pipeline by setting the status variable with API. Okay.